the Palm Courts Arts Complex celebrates its 10-year anniversary. And during this past decade, visitors have been treated to many fantastic exhibits, and today is no exception. So it's our honor to present this to the city. This exhibition uh, with Chuck Jones and his family and, and all the narratives that we have in this exhibit really tie in what we've been doing for 10 years where we're trying to make exhibitions accessible, fun, educational, entertaining, but also really highlighting as many different forms of art as we can. Chuck Jones' season of creativity highlights a man whose characters include Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Wile E. Coyote, to name a few. He was in the hearts and homes of millions growing up. Now his grandson, an Irvine resident, continues sharing his legacy. But I appreciated his uh, desire to want to continue to draw, and so, and, and which he did up until about two weeks before he died. And so he drew every day that he was physically possible. He said if I was uh, at all, I'd do at least 20 drawings, and that's what he would encourage anybody who loved to draw, draw every day. Craig Cawson was fortunate enough to have his grandfather in his life for 40 years. You know, when we started the, the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity in 1999, um, it didn't even have a name yet. And so we got a, a, a lot of people, both in the industry, people who knew him, uh, people who were helping us form kind of a, a, a mission. And it really was that there was an inspiration and all these stories throughout these decades of people meeting him for a short period of time and being inspired and changing their life. And as they went through these stories? Creativity kept coming up, that it wasn't just his artistry, it wasn't just animation, it was that he thought differently and he wanted to evolve whatever he was doing to a next level. Among those personally influenced by Chuck Jones is accomplished Disney animator Eric Goldberg, who's worked with him and who credits him for getting into the industry. I think I first really got to know him during Aladdin when he came to the Disney studio. They ran the genie's song, Friend Like Me, which I had animated for Chuck, and it's like, I have to be there to see what Chuck thinks. <laughs> he was very, very nice. In addition to being a kind person, He's been such an influence on me, you know, for so many years, you know. In fact, in the lecture that I'm going to be doing, I, I will be, you know, vacillating between giving you information and geeking out. Chuck would also use uh, strong poses for bugs, for example, when he was conducting in Baton Bunny. He had what I think is in short supply for a lot of animated cartoons. He had wit. If you look at his drawings, they're witty, they're sophisticated, and yet they still make you laugh, absolutely. I've enjoyed the morning that I've been here um, looking through all the prints, and I really hope everyone takes some time to come out here. Um, bring your whole family. We're, I think this exhibit is going to be on for a couple more weeks, so take that time and come out and, and have fun. It, it's just it's just an amazing opportunity that we have in the city. And this exhibit has been all over. Uh, the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity is just up the street, but we're delighted to host this exhibition here, a world-class exhibition that cartoon lovers and animation lovers from all over can come visit right here in our own backyard. For more on this exhibit at the Great Park Gallery, you can visit their website. It runs through September 12th. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.